What's up, man? It's Baby Foe, Piss Poor CEO. And you tuning in to me and 40 Youth. Indeed. Can't breathe. I'm in the car with a stick in my reach. I don't want your pussy girl smelling sardine. What's in my cut? This ain't color barney. Married in money. Yeah. Like the first time I. The first time I really made some music was like. Probably like 2016. We used to just go over my homeboy, uh crib after school my homeboy uh nick and shit and we just used to record and shit like freshman year but like the first time i ever recorded something was like on a voice memos i was like eight and i had recorded some shit it was some weak ass shit it was to this uh this mick jagger beat that like a g6 i had made like a little verse on that shit and i uh i had recorded like a little voice memo my favorite song that I released, probably the Cherry Cardigan I just dropped. Go stream that shit. But uh no, nah, my best music yet to come for real for real. I ain't even been I ain't even been dropping for real for real. I dropped just one E P in August and that big actually went did pretty well. So I just gotta keep on dropping, staying consistent. I'm finna start taking this shit serious though. Chicago, like all around, like all time, or like right now, all time. Shit, Chief Keith, uh, uh, Juice, uh, G Herbo, obviously. I gotta hear, I gotta hear him. I, I gotta hear him after uh, Sosa though, and uh, Juice World and uh. Kanye, of course. My favorite, I got this one producer, shout out, uh, Custody, and he in like Canada and shit. Uh, he tapped in with me off Instagram. He be making some crazy ass beats, not gonna lie. I got some, I got a lot of songs with him. Um, I got a drop and shit. But yeah, he cold. He got, he got like some placements and shit with Nav. He decent. Uh, my homeboy Pooty, he got, he started to make beats and shit. And if it be like the pure born of the town, I be telling that. But uh, yeah, he be having some. I got uh, like a song or so with him. He got some hard shit. Uh, Mondo actually cold. Shout out Mondo. He got some hard ass beats. He be cooking up. Uh, yeah. And then it's like this one other dude named Chemist. But yeah, I, I ain't even been tapping in with no other producers for real. I'm locking in with them. I ain't gonna lie for the underground. It's shit ass now. Like, it's like, cause I feel like after, uh, like the underground in 2016, like 17 through there, it's like after COVID, like everybody was shooting to be like, it's kind of hard to explain, but like, I feel like everybody in the underground kind of do got the same similar sound. Like, everybody got that distortion on their vocals and straight opium, distorted beats. Like, Rage was cool and all, but, like, nobody, like, they shit don't really be progressing. I just like seeing shit that progress and shit, though. But uh, I do fuck with a few underground artists, though, for sure. Like, niggas, I be thinking that different and shit. Uh, my homeboy Ty, uh, his, his name Trizzy and shit. Uh, he, like, he, he be making, like, Bryson Tiller music. That shit cold as hell. Mondo, uh, Kari actually just played some crazy ass shit. I ain't gonna lie, that shit finna be hard as hell when that drop. Uh, I fuck with Glock Forty, he cold. I ain't gonna lie, Cartoon Network, everything else ass as hell. Cartoon Network, every, all the OG grew up on Cartoon Network. They got the best cartoons. Disney weak as hell. Nickelodeon only got SpongeBob, fairly high appearance and shit. But like all the coldest cartoons on Cartoon Network and Disney. I ain't gonna lie, I never really watched Disney growing up. That shit was always. I only seen Zack and Cody, but all the other shit I ain't never really. I was always trying to watch some cartoons and shit for real, or music videos. I always like watching music videos. Like every day after school, elementary school, I used to come in, watch MTV Jams and 106 and Park and cartoons. Straight Cartoon Network, no cap. Shit. That's like the, that's the, 
the formula to being an artist. You got to have at least one person believe in you, and that's yourself, and that's really all that matter. Uh, if you don't believe in yourself or you're not confident in something you're doing, you don't believe that what you're doing, you can be the best at it, then I feel like you're wasting your time, and you shouldn't even, you know what I'm saying? You should. I feel like you should find your passion, do what you like doing and what you're confident in doing. Do whatever. You, you should do something that you can do for free and be confident, be perfect with doing it for free. And then the money going to come in regardless. As long as you just stay pure. Keep keep doing you. Keep uh, always uh, just believing in yourself and not caring about what other people think. Don't let nobody veer you off your path. Because it's always going to be somebody that got some negative to say or positive to say. But at the end of the day, it's about what you think about yourself. I ain't going to lie. The vision for five years is so crazy. I can't even combine it all into one thing but i'm definitely finna have in five years i'm definitely gonna have a take that uh it went at least top 50 on like all charts for shit show uh i feel like i'm gonna have some some crazy features with like some mainstream artists make some i feel like by the like i'm not even in my i feel like i'm really just beginning for real like by 25 shit I'm damn, I damn near probably would be in my prime, probably making some of the best music of my life. Because like I said, I really don't think the best music I uh, had is, is yet to come. So, yeah, I'm definitely finna, uh, I'm I'm probably, I feel like I'm going a, I'm to a be one of the, a mogul for, for somebody to come out of like Evanston with music shit and clothing. Like kind of like a Kanye wave, but like. With my own touch to it, my own meaning behind it. I got my own clothing and shit. I got our own piss poor studios. Shout out piss poor studios. But uh, yeah, I feel like I'm gonna I'm gonna have some uh, I'm gonna have a clothing store open up, probably within the next two to three years, God willing. And uh, yeah, going crazy still with the music shit. I ain't gonna lie, I had like a lot of phases with music. But growing up, the first, like, rap music I really, really heard, I was, like, five. I remember I came in my granny crib, and uh, my cousin, he was on the computer on the desktop and shit. He was playing Best Rapper Alive by Lil Wayne, and that was, like, my favorite song. Like, ever since then, I always just kept listening to Straight Wayne. Uh... I had listened to a lot of King Louie too. He used to be like one of my favorite artists. G Herbo, uh, Kanye, but like on like the the singing, that's like rap side, like Chief Keep too and shit. But like as far as like singing, that shit was like really versatile. Cause I used to be in the car with my mom a lot and shit, and she used to have like a big ass thing of CDs, and she used to be she had always play like Mary J Blige, Maxwell. Uh, Aaliyah really like everything Keisha Cole So my shit I used to listen to a lot of Different music Uh, I really like enjoy just listening to music That's why I kind of always figured I'd do something revol- Revolving around the art of like creating Cause I just love like Like the The product of just turning into nothing into something Just turning into You got a, a beat and then you could just turn that shit into Like a, a hit song that's why I just like listening to music. Hell yeah, positive and neg- uh, negatively. That's why I be watching what I say now, for real. Because I done said some shit, and I swear to God, that shit happened. And I didn't even want that shit to happen. But, uh, but nah, yeah, as long as you speak positively and just move positive, keep pure intentions, positive going to always... Positive is really just a frequency. So if you move around positive... You're going to get positive. You speak positive. It's going to manifest itself. But if you move around negative, stay in negative emotions, you know, your life just going to reflect negativity. And if you speak negative, you know, negative going to come. So just be mindful of what you say and be know that you got to stand on everything you say. And then, uh, where do you see the Chicago music scene? Hell Yeah. Uh, it's a lot of cold artists coming out of Chicago. I feel like the spotlight, 
I feel like Chicago being solidif- solidified themselves as like the uh, a mu- a place for music. Like I don't feel like the spotlight ever come off of Chicago. Like obviously Atlanta is like got the most crazy artists to come from there, but I feel like Chicago gonna always have like a spotlight uh, as far as music and really just like the culture in general. But yeah, I definitely feel like it's it's gonna be some some more artists from here emerging. And I'm finna be one of them though, for sure, show. Uh, my message for the youth, uh, do what the fuck you wanna do. Uh, obviously you should take, not take advice, but listen to others that are more wiser than you and just use what they saying to your own discernment, but still live your life, make your own decisions. Don't let nobody else make no decisions for you. Don't get peer pressure to anything don't be influenced by anything don't be influenced by even the music that you hear a lot of this shit be fake and a rapper uh, makes some music talk about some shit they not even really doing and it'll definitely lead a kid to do some stupid shit so that's why i say you should just always like if you listen to music just listen to music for the fun of it or like for the art of it don't really take it too seriously i feel like in the youth, now we take a lot of shit too serious that sometimes be fake. So just, yeah, everything you see, don't believe and Take your own wisdom to use it as your, at your own discernment and uh, stay positive, eat healthy, and uh, keep your mind clear of negativity.